Where you come from a land down under Good morning guys, what boat are you from? Hi, uh, we're from Curried Oats. Curried Oats? Yeah, Curried Oats. How big is the boat? She's a 42 foot, she's a hunter passage. And have you guys done a lot of sailing? Yeah. We're relatively new, this will be our first ocean passage. So yep. we're super excited and a little bit scared all in the same thing. Yeah, yeah. how has it been to work with the Down Under Rally? It's been great. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of information and lots of fun along the way. It seems like they really give people the opportunity that haven't sailed a lot to be in a safe kind of right. uh, organised environment. For us, it's that level of extra confidence. And did you guys go to the masquerade party? Yeah, the, we did. How was that? That was fun. Yeah. A bit of dancing, lots of. Yeah, but okay, there was some good music and and yeah, stuff as well. Era. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Good morning. What boat are you guys on? Running free, right? Running free. What size boat is that? Uh, it's a 38 foot uh, steel mono. Yep. And big crew or just a couple? Two of us. Two of you. Mm. And you guys done a lot of sailing or? Uh, no, I haven't done a lot. I only started sailing a couple of years ago. Uh, I once done a fair bit as a kid and grew up. I haven't crossed the ocean. Big crossing. Yeah. How have you found the Down Under Rally crew to work with? They've been helpful and... Yeah, it's been really good. The, um, the lead up to it and all the uh, assistance with paperwork and uh, all that sort of stuff was really good. Yeah. Really helpful. Yeah, it'd be hard to do it on your own. It's a great place. Uh, the yacht club's fantastic. Good morning, guys. How you doing? Good morning. Good. Really good. How are you uh, feeling about the rally? Excited. Excited? Excited. What boat are you on? Catfish. Catfish. Yeah, the Warren 42, Kennelly. The Warren 42, okay. And you guys been to New Mia before? On a P&O cruise, um, so that we could look and see where we could hang out. How have you found the Down Under Rally crew to work with? John and Leanne have been so caring and so considerate. They have gone out of their way so much just to help us with all the little things that are normal. Their handouts were so good and covered everything anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, and they did allow us to video them doing what they were doing so that I could go back and watch it on the on my small screen on the boat. And with my vision impairment, they've just doubled the care. Wow. They're just brilliant people. Really, really lovely people. Yeah. John, the organiser of the Down Under Rally. How are you feeling this morning, mate? Oh, mate, yeah, all good. Lovely morning. Everyone's uh, showed up bright and early, and uh, Australian Water Force are doing all the clearances now. Um, we're enjoying a nice breakfast here, thanks to the Southport Yacht Club. Uh, and then as soon as all the boats are cleared, we'll be doing our briefing and uh, talking about the voyage. It looks like it's a, probably a nice window for us to leave tomorrow morning from the seaway at 8 o'clock. Okay, so we've got, we got 34 boats sailing as part of the rally. We've got 19 catamarans, we've got 15 monohulls. But you must make sure that the skipper and everybody aware on board their vessel is aware of how to make a distress call following the procedure laid out in this manual. Anything that you feel could cause you to be in distress on the voyage that's related to the vessel, torn mainsail, um, I don't know, leaking rudder, anything like that we want to know about. Because basically if we see you stop, when we're tracking you, we're going to know that you've got issues. If you, for some reason, don't come up with a position report, we're going to know that, okay, they had issues, it's probable they're in trouble. It's really important that we get an understanding of what's going on on your boat. Seamanship is the most important 
rule. We don't want to all be trying to exit the seaway eight boats of rest. We've got to just be reasonable. We'll have our radios on 6-8. If you want to find out what someone else is doing, say, um, you know, someone wants you go, I'll wait for you. And so is proceeding through now. Just, just communicate with each other on 6-8. Okay, let's go to the weather. Hello in the Tasman Sea is moving off to central New Zealand by Wednesday, followed by a trough moving over northern New Zealand late Thursday, and then a ridge is expected to push out along Australia, 30 south, 25 south. We've got very consistent winds. We've got no convective activity. Um, we've got very stable upper level atmosphere, which all equates to fairly settled conditions for the voyage. I want you to understand that you are not obligated to leave tomorrow with us. You can wait if you choose to wait. If you feel that this is not satisfactory to you, please don't feel that you must go because we're all going. If you get out there and you're not comfortable, there is nothing wrong with coming home. I've come home a number of times. There's nothing wrong with saying, this isn't me, I'm coming home. You just need to let the Border Force know, as Ken said, that we're coming back and we're going to come back into Southport. We've got vessel issues, we've got seasickness, we just don't like it out here anymore. We want to come home. Just let the Border Force know that you're coming home and they'll walk it with your open arms straight back in here at this marina. Any questions to this? Weather? Anything about anything? No, thank you for your cooperation, your patience. When we will be sailing our boat out the seaway at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. We look forward to seeing as many of you there as we can. <laughs>
around that I'm traveling around the globe, observing you all. Moving to my creative. Down under alley, please. Down under alley, please. Down under alley, please. This is Solon's Solon, Quebec 7217. What a lovely morning we have to begin our voyage, which has been a long time in the preparation. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being part of this today. The effort that you've put in, your cooperation in gathering the information that we've needed. We hope the voyage lives up to your expectations. That those of you who have dreamt of this moment are reveling in the experience. And that the next few days create memories for you that will last a lifetime. Feeling there, mate? Yeah, really good. Still a few coming behind us. Bit of swell coming through. Yeah, we've got a nice uh, ground swell coming through there, a couple of metres, but uh, out on the top of the tide, so no breaking waves. Get everyone clear. And uh, yeah, we'll just settle in for the, for the voyage. Um, everyone seems to be in good spirits. Yeah, it's a place I call my own, and it mean a world to me. Like gremlins, we keep multiplying. Like the aliens, we keep on flying. Like a full moon, we keep on shining. And I think that we should keep on trying. So tonight, just for a second, let your only intention. Be to him and say, baby, you got me crazy. So, 7 a.m. on day, morning of day three. We're going to just check our summary of email reports that have come in last night. So, we're going to use the Iridium mail feature in the um, Iridium program. Click on the mail, go down to our little upload download sign here and say get mail. We're about 350 miles from Australia and about 420 miles from New Caledonia. So we're in the middle of nowhere and we're checking our mail. We go to our inbox, we've got 14 messages. Weather forecasts come in, latest email reports, summary. So yeah, there you go going to go through and check all that now. Alright, so we're back where we left off. Um, we had a slight interruption due to some weather, a bit of a squally rain shower came through there and we needed to just manage some sails. So we're back down on the rally, go east, email reports. And basically each boat's just putting in a, a specified amount of information we're asking for, the date, their position, the course, what their sea state is like, the cloud cover and how's everything going on the boat. Executive summary, so Aqu just giving us an overview first, Aquabar has torn their Genoa overnight. They've repaired that now. Catfish has got unspecified gear failures, but everything's okay, they're just running a bit behind. Prisolina's got a torn mainsail, so they're a bit slow. 
three little birds broke a main sheet traveler but they fixed it so all in all after the first two days uh, we've got a few boats with some broken bits and some pieces of stuff and a few seasick crew but all in all everybody's still pro progressing along as planned we've had a weather update from uh, our weather router and so here's traffic for all stations in the down under go east rally so all the vessels have got email capability at sea have received this update there's also the single sideband radio uh, sked that's managed by Northland Radio and he sends me an update of that one as well. So these vessels have all checked in via single sideband radio at 0800 UTC which is 6pm last night with their information. All, all, everything's working as it's supposed to, everyone's getting checked in, we know where everyone is, we know what's happening aboard their boats to the best of our ability. Just so you know. Yeah. Hey, what are you going? Oh, no. I'm so grateful to be here. So grateful to be here. How's that seasickness going? Oh, yeah, I'm great today. Great. First day I landed, I didn't look at anyone. You're a bit quiet for a while there. I was quiet, yeah. But today I feel amazing. It's the motion of the ocean. Yeah. Oh. There's a chill in the air tonight Reminds me of you The silly things you wear The silly things you do Baby girl, you flow right through me Memories of you can show me again So it's um, Friday morning A little bit bumpy here We're trying to motor to windward um, To keep our angle where losing some ground to the wind that gone into the north um, and we've just had a ship come up on the uh, chart plotter here you can see the triangle there indicating we've got a ship coming straight towards us um, before we left I installed a new AIS which is the digital yacht AIS AIT 3000 and I've been really impressed with um, its performance and information basically we haven't been able to get a visual on this ship but if we can go onto the target on the screen and push view full AIS data, we can see that the vessel's name is Lorry and that its uh, closest point of approach will be 1.6 nautical miles in 11 minutes. So he's going to pass to our stern. But I've got all the information here I need to know about him in order to be able to make an informed decision about what we need to do and all we need to do is hold our current course and speed and he'll pass behind us. We should be able to get a visual on him um, quite soon. You'll see that we're on a 72 nautical mile range on our, on our screen so it makes him look like he's quite close to us where in fact he's about 15 mile away. So we'll get a visual on him in the next 10 minutes or so. On your love, beautiful girl, shooting star, satellite, my angel's face in the firelight. Uh, have you got any idea how uh, we go side in and out going through the water? Uh, yeah, I did have a look on the Navion, it's about mid-tide, um, and it's around about, I think, 8.30 local time. 9.30 local time, uh, we're still running a train of Well here we are, it's uh, 5.30 Australian time on Sunday 20th of May, it's just short of five days from when we left the Gold Coast Seaway on Tuesday at 7am. We arrived just outside of the pass here to enter into the reef at um, Dumbia Pass about 11 p.m. last night. Um, and although we've been in and out of this pass a number of times, I prefer not to do it at night time. So we've been hove to about 10 miles off uh, 
waiting for some daylight and uh, we're underway again now and we'll end of the pass here in about an hour's time to coincide with the um, incoming tide. It hasn't been our, our best passage, it certainly hasn't been our worst. Pretty, pretty bouncy to begin with. Um, settled quite nicely during the middle. And then a little bit of uh, upwind stuff at the end, which all in all hasn't been a bad run. The boats performed perfectly, flawlessly in fact, without an issue, which has been wonderful. Um, everyone's well rested and um, yeah, out of 10 is probably call it an 8 as far as uh, passengers go, so can't complain. You can see I've got two chart plotters running here at the moment. Um, the iPad's running iSailor and the uh, Raymarine's running the uh, Navionics. I just like to have two pieces of equipment going when I'm entering reef passes or areas that are potentially challenging navigation so that if one unit fails I've got a backup ready to go so whilst we don't run the two of them all the time whenever we're navigating in around the reef we have two lots of software running on two different devices. We did just hear a couple of uh, a couple of the rally boats on the radio so yeah, everyone will start to to, uh, to to roll in over the next day or so. I imagine they're all pretty much staggered behind us, um, from what I can ascertain. So here we are. We've ended the past Dumbia to come into the lagoon. We've got a nice little pink lines to follow all the way over to our destination being Hillock Matron inside the lagoon which is the second largest barrier reef fringed lagoon in the world UNESCO heritage listed with a large percentage of the lagoon being marine park so you can literally almost circumnavigate the island inside the lagoon to cruise here you would need months, not not weeks. Um, we've been here seven, eight times I think now and we've probably seen a third of what there is to see. Wonderful cruising ground. Chicken, the chicken out as it builds out the back. We slide across the lake, cool, and I can't believe you missed it. Oh, oh, come on. I keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Cause the sun's so warm, the breeze so cool. The water like silk, man, it keeps me smooth. We paddle to the left as my mate suggests. We start to catch a breath, turn around, and give a shout out to the sunset. To the sunset. This one goes out to the sunset. To the sunset. To the sunset. To the setting sun from the sky to the ocean, paddle for another wave undercover. Wash over me, I cleanse my soul. I light up your lighter and pack another door. Chilling at the beach, just a break of dawn. My boat is at my door, we'll be loving the morning Never more in, we'll be sure and Moving to the red of the ocean I Put your head underwater, hear the dolphin song I float on my back as the day moves on A glass turn to ripple, a ripple back to glass We smile to each other, turn around and give a shout out to the sunset To the sunset, this one goes out to the sunset To the sunset, to the sunset This one goes out to the sunset To the sunset, to the sunset this one goes out to the sunset, to the sunset, to the sunset. This one goes out to the sunset.
You know the island vibe helps you slow down your pacing With no traffic lights, many mosquito bats Village people help me sing it Island boy, don't like the city The traffic and the smoke kinda made me feel gritty Go to the beach, gonna chill on the sand I Talk to the ocean cause she always understands it Island boy, chill like a villain Roots and the reggae with the tropical rhythm Go to the beach, gonna chill on the sand Relax in the water with a scooby in my hand, yeah Yo, island boy. Yeah, uh huh. You know the rolling papers, they be sticking together. Humidity, a big killing the weather. But the people, they be singing forever. With the frogs and the vast jungle, jungle rhythm. rhythm. So sit down, relax, and enjoy yourself. Or get up and dance and just lose yourself on the island. But don't care what people think. The island is a missing link. Island boy, I don't like the city The traffic and the smoke kinda made me feel gritty Going to the beach, gonna chill on the sand And talk to the ocean cause she always understands it Island boy, chillin' like a villain Roots and the reggae with a tropical 